Last episode, another huge war broke out between the Alliance Our Union and the Orcs, resulting in a similar aftermath to the last attempt at killing the Orcs. The humans were practically decimated, leaving the dwarves to be the only nations to still pose a threat to the Orcish Swarm. We left off the last video with the Ekir Miners declaring war against the Orcish nation the Strong Igor, and they are not a part of the Alliance Our Union, meaning they are alone in this fight against the Orcs, which is really ballsy if we count for past nations who attempted the same thing. Accounting for the new votes, all of the nations on the map chose to be boring and voted to do nothing. Except, of course, the Lost Souls, who are cursing the world once again, but this time with a volcano. The volcano attempt succeeded, and shockingly is being selected upon the poor Northmen. So before we burn all of the innocent people in the Northmen by covering them in lava, let's roll the intro. The poor Northmen, man, they can't catch a break. I don't even, how are they still alive? They've made it all the way back up to the north, but that's not gonna help them with this volcano. <laughs> oh, no. All the people around here, you guys gotta run. Release the flaming hot liquid. Oh no, ah! They're gonna have fun with this volcano. Um, It shouldn't kill them all the way just cause they got this other town over here building up. Plus, you know, volcanoes only reach to a certain radius. So it will destroy everything in this vicinity and whoever decides to walk around here like this child. I was really hoping you'd get hit by lava cause that'd be funny come on dude so close okay well anyways we'll look back at that we, we got a war going on down south oh yeah everything's on fire so we got the orcs against the ekir miners which is the dwarves right uh okay so there's a lot of bad things going on it looks like the orcs are fighting a three-front war and they are winning all of the fronts okay that's really bad looking at the war so far uh the orcs do have less warriors however they do have more population now okay when this war started i believe the dwarves did have a hundred more population um the deaths definitely resemble that well this isn't good i kind of like the volcano because it's it's a giant nuisance and it's going to be there forever now but it, it definitely it leaves a scar on the map which i i like same with the the earthquake because now forever we'll have this mountain rage right here it's kind of cool top as warriors these guys are new aren't they what's your clan yeah it's that is not the swarm anything west of the strong igorg the the swarm doesn't even exist oh however there is a rebellion happening in the strong igorg let me see you bro i want to see you villages rad dan the leader of rad dan that's the swarm that's the swarm isn't it how shrek okay so the swarm Swarm's about to try and make a comeback, which will help the, the, the dwarves, uh, as long as they do it. Come on, rebel, rebel, rebel. Now, 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 now. It looks like the dwarves have finally got their armies to the front lines. At least they're protecting their northern front here, Onor. Their northernmost city got wrecked. Okay, Red Dan has rebelled. No, why is it only Red Dan? Why can't they have taken, like, half of all of the cities? It is the swarm, though. <laughs> There we go. They're now the swarm. <laughs> okay, so the swarm is at a super disadvantage right now because it's only one city against a major nation, right? However, all of their armies are distracted right now fighting against the dwarves. And this is good. This The dwarves are not going to be an easy one to take over, although they are winning, I think. <laughs> oh, the swarm's troops are over here. Oh, they were fighting against the dwarves. Okay, so you guys need to stop standing here and doing nothing and go invade before you guys get invaded. You're already being invaded. You guys, come on. Come on. Come on. You don't gotta be like that that man let the swarm last a little bit why their army's doing nothing dude there they go there they go and they were taken over unfortunate now who's rebelling up north <laughs> the swarm <laughs> Yes. Okay, cool. They'll they'll have a they'll have a second chance here, hopefully. Oh, the dwarves are declaring war? Who are you declaring war on? The strong Igord. Oh, snap. Okay. So it looks like the Alliance Our Union, uh, which yeah, is just the rest of the world, is also gonna join in the fight uh to help out the Ikir miners. Oh, oh, the new age! The age of moon. Okay, and what's the next age after that? Oh, oh, that's just like the normal one. I want a crazy one. I want one that puts us in an ice age or something. Or the age of despair. That would just end the world. Alright, well now the map's all really pretty. Yay! Look at it. Wow. Even with the volcano, the Northman is still going up in population. I thought the volcano would be even more effective than this. I guess every now and then you will get your straggler child to get struck by uh, lava. Come on, get hit. Get hit. Maybe this one. One of them will. Maybe both of them. No. Oh, they're on the outskirts. Where they're standing though, it, it is possible. Oh, 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 okay. A lot's going on right now. It looks like the Alliance Our Union has now joined the fight against the strong Igord. There we go. All four of them against them. And the swarm. No, you're not a... Why are they not the swarm? Why are they not the swarm? What do you mean? Because it's not their capital, dude. Their capital is not the swarm. Bro, so like the village that initiated the rebellion is the swarm. However, their capital isn't. I just want to give it to them. Would it really be bad if I didn't give it to them? And just like that, the swarm is back. Let's go. Let's get it. And that's that's epic. The Ekir Miners is struggling for sure, for sure. They are losing cities one by one, but I believe the strong Igor is about to get absolutely wrecked with the invasion of all the other dwarves and humans. I mean, what other human? I mean, the Lost Souls have a uh, decent sized army, but the Northmen's not going to help at all. 
all. They, I guess they do have an army moving down, but their army is just a small size, you know, and personality isn't everything. So it's just not going to help. And it looks like with the help of the dwarves, the swarm is pushing them back, dude. Oh, and a meteor. <laughs> Unfortunately for the rest of the world, if the swarm didn't rebel there, I feel like the strong Igor would have actually gotten completely killed, like destroyed. But since the swarm isn't at war with any of them and is taking over the cities, then they don't destroy the cities. So then the cities stay there, which means the orcs don't get weakened at all. However, maybe I'm speaking too fast because the strong Igor seems to be fighting back against the swarm at the moment. Hopefully the dwarves are able to destroy more orcish cities before the war ends. I think that would be good for the rest of the world, especially with the top as warriors uniting this, this other huge orc orcish nation. It looks like this volcano has taken out another house. It is slowly but surely expanding. It's very, very slowly. Oh, they live! They live on by one more city! It's a, it's a tiny one. 38 population. Looking at the clans list, if the, if, if how Shrek did not rebel from that, one of them would have died for sure. Man, they keep escaping death. It's honestly quite impressive. Goodbye, the strong Ig Ord. You have been replaced by the swarm. Finally, dude. It has taken how many episodes now for the swarm to come back? Oh, and the lost souls, they just got cut in half. Hasut of Moon. Well, they're in a war now, and it looks like against the entire Our Union, because they got some Dwarvis soldiers moving up there as well. That'd be funny if all they did was kill off the Northmen. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, what's going on here? How, wait, how did, the, what? Can that happen? World history? Oh no, the moonlight has awakened the horrors of the flesh. I didn't know the Age of Moon could do that. This doesn't give them mush spores, I don't think, but it does give off the meat people, I think, when they die. People are able to walk on it now. I think the update has changed this. This thing, it, it used to be different. No, they're all infected with something. What are they, inf tumor infection. Plus four speed, negative 15 loyalty. I think they will all turn into meat creatures here. They will literally just become one giant tumor and then they'll run around and kill people and spread. Oh, we'll see how this goes. I don't, that's not a good good thing. I don't, um, I think that's really bad. That's funny too. It feels proper that it happened in the swarm. Imagine they all just turned into infected meat monsters. Of course they would be called the swarm. Okay. A meteor just hit the Northmen cause you know, screw the Northmen, I guess. <laughs> the moonlight has awakened more flesh and this time it's in the, oh, the lost souls of way up North. That's not good. Oh, see, there's a, there's a meat monster. Pebtin. Oh, of course he, uh, th I mean, I would say this is pretty ugly. He's the cutest meat bag in all of the lost souls. I would bear his children. Look at them all go for it, dude. Chew. And now they're all infected with the tumor suckers they're all gonna die and the hasuta moon is being invaded dude holy balls yo who's shooting stuff yo somebody's got a laser gun who what the f how alien blaster my man mug soon what did an alien when did when did a saucer what i have so many questions oh dude right here in world history something is flashing in the skies that can't be good where did it go down it just appeared over here i can't i missed the alien saucer there was an alien saucer in the world and i missed it and now this man <laughs> he's got a he's got a blast dude blast them get <laughs> Homeboy's a one-man army. All right. So they absolutely just decimated that human city, and it is no longer a thing. The Lost Souls is about to go through another rebellion. Poe. Something tells me Poe's not going to do very well. Uh, unless they invade the Northmen. Oh, snap. The Northmen troops are going in there, and it looks like they're they're, they're switching places. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Invade the Northmen. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Lucky for the Northmen. They have the Lost Souls coming up for backup. Look at that. They're flooding them back out. <laughs> Dang. All right. That didn't, that didn't last very long. Oh, there's another rebellion, though. They're all happening next to the Northmen as well. <laughs> One of them will succeed, right? They have to. Oh, there's a tornado. How, how do I keep missing these things? There's a ton of random disasters going on. It's just going through the orcs casually. Oh, it's, where is it going now? It's making its way uptown, twirling fast towards humanity. The top as warriors is about to go through a rebellion. Oh, and the Ekir miners are declaring war because of course they are. They are bloodthirsty. We have, we have uh, realized this, planning war against the swarm. All right. They really, they really hate their Western orcish neighbors. They want nothing more but to destroy them. It would really help them a lot if they joined the Alliance, our union, but they're, I don't think they're going to. Oh, snap, a Siwi Empire. Oh, that's actually, I mean, it's got a few cities. They could be worse off right now. And they got soldiers in this Northman city. However, they're not taking, I don't know how. It looks like their king and a leader are doing little ring around the rose. Okay, now they're, oh, dude, they're killing each other. Oh, the Siwi Empire, their, their king just, <laughs> just killed the leader. Okay, okay, they, they actually did take a Northman city. <laughs> What if they successfully do this, dude? What if? What if? There's no way. No way. Oh, and they got a ton of dwarves on the way as well for backup. Holy balls. Dude, they gotta do this fast if they wanna win. The swarm is also gonna have a rebellion while- Oh, oh, I think they declared war. Oh, oh, they're in war, all right. Holy crap, with so many dead already. The Akir miners do have over double the amount of warriors. Uh, however, their population is basically equal. And with the death rate as it is, I don't see the Akir miners winning this. They survived last time, though. Especially with these rebellions happening, the swarm might get wrecked. 
correct. There, we, so we got the Axe of Azig, we got the Zura Red Fighters, and another Rebellion going up against the... What are these guys even... Where's their name? The Top Az Warriors. It looks like the Asiwi Empire is not gonna survive this, unfortunately. Rest in pieces, the Asiwi Empire. All it takes is a few million dwarves to destroy them. This is so... There's so much border gore going on right now. It's hard to tell what's happening. So the Swarm is also gonna have another Rebellion, it looks like. So the Green Ox just showed up right in the middle of the entire Empire. Meanwhile, the Ekur Miners are being invaded by some of the Swarm troops. Hopefully the Swarm can fight off this Rebellion and then continue to fight off this one while also fighting off the Dwarves. The Orcs are a mess right now, dude. They're... I can't even tell what's happening, which means you guys probably can't tell what's happening. We got Topaz Warriors, we got the Green Auk, we got the Swarm, we got Green Zokok, we got Zerurid Fighters, we got Axe of Azig, the Strong Pezep, and the Glizzy Gobblers somewhere in here. With all of that, how Shrek is now just spreading across multiple different empires. Gosh dang it, dude. Somebody's gotta die this episode. Somebody has to. Uh. The Lost Souls is about to have another rebellion. The dwarves are invading and destroying this sad excuse of a little orcish town. It's gone. Oh, that's that's rough. Another new orcish nation just popped up. Red Xanarid. All of the humans and the dwarves now are fighting the Yiki Imperium. Another sad little excuse of a, of a rebellion. And of course, there's another one popping up. The volcano continues to spread. <laughs> Slowly but surely, dude. It's pretty wide at this point. The swarm is being invaded. There it goes, dude. Wait, wait, wait. The swarm lives on for a little bit longer at least. They might actually take this back. Nope, 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 nope. Doesn't look like it. Where are the swarm soldiers in here? They are getting murdered. Rip, dude. The great Satowa. Dude, the Northmen would be screwed right now. Same with the Lost Souls. After all of these rebellions, if it wasn't for the dwarves, the dwarves continue to send their massive armies up here just to slaughter them. Like here, th dude, they're so fast. Look at this. And one of them's got that blaster, dude. This freaking guy. I swear that's a different guy. I favorited the guy with the blaster. Oh, he must be dead. How did he die? This is not him. This guy just, this is the favorited guy. Man just get, got rid of the blaster for what? Is Iron Reaver? Who's the new guy with the blaster? Where did he go? Here, right here. Ther Ortillo. He is the alien blaster. I'm gonna favor this guy. Bro just killed a child with an alien blaster. Just shot him up. All right then, so this town is on complete fire. <laughs> Holy crap, it's a war zone. Oh, there's an earthquake. An earthquake just happened. Where? Oh, whoa, right in the middle of the map. It somehow missed like the center of every single town. It was right in the middle of all of them. So the swarm is no longer with us, which means I will be watching out for the next rebellions of the orcs to make sure um, if it's the swarm or not. How Shrek almost reaching 200 deaths. All of their people are spread between two nations, being the Green Auk and the Strong Pezet. Here comes another rebellion in the Lost Souls. Somebody's gotta die. I'm going to turn up the speed of time to times four. Just like that, the Lost Souls has another empire rebellion, Vakawi, and they are smashed between <laughs> massive empires that are quickly, very, very quickly just plowing into them. Dude, they're so screwed. The Northman is mad vibing right now with being surrounded by the Lost Souls to protect them. Their big daddy Lost Souls. Now, they are smashed up on some Orcish nations. If they went to war against the Orcs, it would be a different story, I think. The Hoxus has surpassed a thousand population. Wow, dude. That's wild. With almost 400 military people? Dude, Hoxus is insane. Yeah, looking at the empires, bro, it goes the Hoxus, the Ekir Miners, and then there's a pretty, I mean, I wouldn't say it's the biggest drop-off, but in terms of military power, it definitely is, and population compared to the first place is, it's a, it's a pretty decent drop-off to third place. Wow, that's pretty neato. Here comes another rebellion. Oh, and a war. Oh, oh, snap. Okay, three wars. Oh, oh, wow. There's a lot going on. This, the purple orcish nation is going to war against the green auk. The green auk is going to war against the strong pay zep. And the ekir miners is going against the green auk. Because of course they are. They, again, they're western orcish neighbor. They just really want to destroy and kill. Meanwhile, up north, another rebellion is getting smashed by all of the massive armies that continue to smash all of the rebellions. And just like that, the green auk is now at war with the axe of, uh, azig. While also going to war now against the ekir miners. So they are in a terrible situation. However, for the swarm, this might allow them access into the western part of the orcish nations again. Because if the Axe as Ig can take them over while not eradicating the, the, the House Shrek, then they would be able to repopulate into the entire empire and not just this part of it, which would definitely help their chances of survival go up. However, of course, we do have the massive dwarvish army running in here, dude. There's so many of them. Holy balls. This is insane. Literal empire destroyers over here, dude. The best case scenario for the dwarves is that the Green Auk would actually beat out the Axe of Ig, I think. It doesn't look like that's going to happen, though. I mean, there's no way it would with both of them smashing into them. The dwarves are managing to destroy some cities, though. If the orcs overall can lose territory, that's definitely a big win for the dwarves. What a crazy mosh pit, bro. Holy balls. Oh, no! Think your miners has- they have a rebellion! That's horrible! Do either of them have their military here? No, all of their military's over here. They're probably fighting each other amongst this crazy war. That's not good. That's not good for either of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. House Rock, though, will be split between them. Uh, a little bit, at least. I can't believe the Northmen's just chilling. Holy crap, what happened to the volcano? A rain cloud must have came through. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> it continues to expand slowly. It looks like the axe of Azig is going to war against the tall Zekok. <laughs> kind of a sus name. I don't... I, the orcs are... I don't even know what they're doing anymore, dude. Somehow, how Shrek is not dead. I don't know how it isn't. In fact, it's all now inside of the strong pep zep, except for Nato. This one guy. This one dude. Neto. Whatever. Man lives in the... Uh, where is he? He is... He's right here. What up, little Neto? Let's see if he dies in the war. So there's soldiers up here, and he's running straight for them. He entered the home of safety. And he lives. He lives. He's no longer in the danger zone, unless he gets killed by his own former empire, <laughs> which I guess is still possible. A wild mage has entered the world. Where, where, where? Over here on this island. What, doing what? Just shooting some boats? <laughs> What? Hoxus just broke the alliance, I think. Yo, wait, our union is no longer... It's no longer a thing. Our union just dissolved? There are no alliances in this world. What? Why, why, why? Hoxus, why? You fool. That's not good. That's really not good for the Northmen now. Wait, maybe that's fine. Because I guess they would not be involved in any war of the Lost Souls. That's not good for the Lost Souls. They're going to get screwed over. The only reason why they're still alive is because the dwarves would move all of their armies up there and help them out. The Ecker Miners is declaring peace with who? Peace talks, peace talks. There's a lot of peace talks going on. With the clash of Ecker Miners. Well, which one is the Clash of Ekir Miner? The horrible Clash of Ekir Miner. So that's against the Orcs, the Green Ock. The Rebellion of the Gul Sotom Rocks. They were doing good. Looks like the Ekir Miners might be able to reunite their empire. Potentially? I, I don't know. A new alliance has been founded, the Holy Friendship, uh, between the Northmen, the Kingdom, Red Xanarid, and Strong Pezep. It looks like the Northmen is declaring war for some reason. Well, I don't know why you do that, dude. Who against? The Green Ock? Where is the Green Ock? I mean, I guess they're pretty weak, but they're also Orcs. So the Northmen is committing suicide, I think. <laughs> the Rocky Dumb Aurora has also declared war on the Green Ox. So the Northman town here on the other side of their empire. <laughs> Getting flooded with orcs, of course. Because they declared war against the orcs. I don't I don't know why they would do that. It looks like the Lost Souls are also getting just absolutely wrecked. Congratulations to them. <laughs> Thanks to the dwarves once again, the Northmen might actually survive right now. See this massive army? They're going to kill the Green Ox. And here they go to just absolutely decimate them. Okay, okay, okay. There's been a new orcish rebellion, right? No king, and their leader is NATO. The friggin' one, the one, the one swarmish guy in the Western Orcish territories, which means he just single handedly made the swarm come back. And unfortunately for them, I don't think they're gonna last very long. <laughs> Oh no! Oops, I didn't rename it. There we go. Uh, rest in peace is the swarm, I think. Which means poor Neto is gonna die. Unless he just is absolutely BA and just kills everything and everybody. Uh, nope, that's definitely a massive army that's gonna kill him. Oh, He did good, man. He did good for his bloodline. With that, how Shrek should only be in the strong ep ord? Or no! He had a child! He had a child! Let's follow this child. Let's see if he survives the invasion. He totally might! He did! Oh, okay, okay. We'll see what he does from there. Uh, of course, another rebellion's gonna happen. Okay, this map is like it's so unrecognizable from even when we started i think yeah the uh, the next age has started i didn't even notice time is moving so fast at the moment and yet nobody's dying the lost souls need to come back i i i they're gone and this is the newest rebellion which is ruled by not a house shrek member which means it is now mm, the lost souls uh, there we go the lost souls is back <laughs> but they're now orcs is this the northman since when did the northman have a massive town right here dude what in the middle of the map i i, I never even noticed the Uza band who are you? You just rebelled. Not how Shrek. Okay, well. And the Lost Souls is being killed again. <laughs> Remember how there was one other uh, House Shrek member in the east? Or the west, rather? Uh, no longer. They are all now within the strong pay zep. All of those people are in these three cities. Or four cities. I don't know. Lucky for them, the Ekir miners are still struggling against the rebellion. Which, how is that going, actually? Oh, you know, only a thousand dead dwarves. That's insane. Of course, the Ekir miners are going to win back all their territory. They're declaring peace? All they got to do is... To what? Why is everybody... What? Why is there so many soldiers aiming at this right now? Oh, dude, I forgot they're in an alliance. Wait, no, they're not. The Holy Friendship is. Why are these guys at war with everybody? What do they do to make six different nations mad? Holy balls, what? They are so screwed. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Oh, dude, just get absolutely decimated. Unfortunate. That is definitely rough. <laughs> GG's. Bro just got flooded, which means the Ekir Miners is back and united. Congratulations to them, which means House Rock is united once again. House Shrek is also united. So now, okay, so they're both basically back to where they were. However, House Shrek is in a massive alliance, which means if the Ekir Miners goes to war against them, it's not going to look good. Ooh, wait. However, they are seeking an alliance. Who are they seeking an alliance with? Join the Holy Friendship. Oh, okay, so then they would both be in a friendship, which leaves... No, the Northmen would also be 
part of that. So I need somebody to die. This recording is going on really long. <laughs> Frick. The Northmen are gone. I, I wasn't paying attention to the most recent uh rebellion. It looks like it might actually be happening up north. Hoxus is declaring war, dude, with who? The Zerrid fighters. Who the balls is the Zero? These guys? These little dudes over here? <laughs> what? What do you mean? <gasps> but they're in the alliance. Oh, Hoxus is now at war with many, many nations across the map. Let's look at the stats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, including the Ekir miners. Dude, Hoxus is screwed. Over double the population and military power. Okay, uh, I think Hoxus has made its first big- Dude, look at the population drop. Holy crap, that is so not chill. Oh, and a meteor. And a meteor, dude. Hoxus has made a massive mistake, dude. Wow. I can't believe they would do that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. These people were the first, uh, next rebellion, which means they are now the swarm. Or, I mean, the lost souls. Congratulations to them. <laughs> the Northmen has lost even more territory. I want to say it was because of the volcano, as it continues to consume this entire town. That's pretty epic, if you ask me. So, the entirety of Hoxus is basically one gigantic war zone, at least, at the moment. Rather, all the Hoxus territories outside of the mountains. The Ekir miners are arriving and immediately taking over these territories. The strong Pazep is gonna have a rebellion, dude? Which means what? It's probably gonna be the, the swarm. <laughs> There we go, the as as of death. Who owns this? The swarm. All right, cool. And they're back, baby. Again, I need somebody to die. The first time ever since the lemon grabs, dude, the Hawks' homeland is being invaded. And it's being, it's like properly being invaded right now to the point where they're gonna lose it. So many soldiers are walking in here. Uh, the swarm has passed away once again. <laughs> the mighty Hawks' empire is just being divided right now between the two other dwarvish nations. Wait, but they just declared peace, which means Hawks lives. They're not gonna finish off Hawks? Bro, they're all just going home. Bro, what? So Hoxus was just reduced down to nothing, and now they're just- they're just nothing. All right then, that's wild. The Ekir Miners now takes the top of the leaderboard by a huge lead, dude. They could do whatever they want in this world. The Lost Souls is planning war against Hoxus, okay? The Alliance Our Friendship was dissolved, which means there is no longer any alliances. A new alliance, Preservation of Steel, has been formed between some Orcish nations, and it looks like some other Orcish nations are gonna try and join it. <gasps> what age is this? Age of Ice? Oh, oh wow, okay. The world suddenly is going into a winter. Holy Holy balls, dude. I don't know what this changes, but, uh, okay. We'll see if this affects anything, I guess. Oh, uh, wow. All right. The entire world is a winter wonderland. Look at that. Look at it. It's all covered in snow. Hoxus is finally about to perish, dude. It was just, it, it was just destroyed. Holy balls. I can't believe it got destroyed before the, even the Northmen, which means the next rebellion that happens amongst the dwarves does have a chance to bring back the Hoxus. Of course, their bloodline is doing fine. I can't believe it. The Ekir Miners is being beaten back right now by some orcs. They're going up against the entire Oh, wow. Our league? Our league is back? What is going on, dude? There's some crazy alliances going on. At this rate, dude, look at all the land. Look at all the territory loss of the dwarves. Their population has dropped drastically. Oh, and a rebellion. Tall boulders, which is probably now the Hoxus. No, it isn't. Nope, nope. They are not led by House Rock. House Rock should all be still within the Ekir Miners, I think. It, in fact, it isn't. There's one left. Dun Kirur. Oh, wait, he's the king? Oh, wait, that is House Rock. I'm freaking dumb, dude. Hoxus! The Northman is planning war against, too. The tall Zekgar. The Northman is gonna get themselves killed dude dude the ekir miners continue to collapse 200 population and dropping their territory is getting they're, they're getting cornered right now all of their mighty empire has pretty much turned be, been turned into rubble the northman's war has begun against the tall zeggok which means they are also at war with the preservation of steel however they are in the alliance our league oh maybe they're not as vulnerable as i think they are because they got the dwarves on their side the ekir miners looks like they're gonna live on the orcs are no longer at war with them however they start they are at war with hoxus but they're basically on par with each other at this point in fact, Hoxus has more soldiers. <laughs> Looking at the clan, House Rock is down to nine people, which is actually way higher than I thought it would be. House Rock is lucky that they're not dead at the moment. A new Dwarvish nation just popped up. We'll see if they last. The Ekir Miners has been destroyed, dude. They are now back in with the Hoxus, which is funny, which means House Rock is now all within the Hoxus. The five of them. Or the nine? Wait, did, oh, I just didn't, okay. I thought I scrolled down, I guess not. Wow, dude, look at these ruins that fill up the middle of the map. Look how massive this city once was. Whoa, dude, a huge earthquake just went through Hoxus. Now even the Rocky Dumb aurora is getting destroyed and the northmen this is the end the northmen ladies and gentlemen this is what we have been waiting for a massive invasion of orcs and it looks like even the lost souls maybe holy balls dude 24 population to fend off literally a thousand soldiers rest in pieces the northmen they have finally been ended and that's it dude we have to pause it here this map is so like what has even happened so much has happened house rock and house shrek are still fighting between one another house shrek is united uh okay wow they're all within the 
the strongest uh, orcish nation, the strong Pezep, while all of House Rock is within Hoxus again. Rocky Dumb Aurora is getting wrecked. Ekir Miners died. We have Ancient Agra, which is a new dwarvish nation. However, it'll, it's literally uh, ending, I think. <laughs> Three population, it's on the verge of death. And we have the Rocky Dock Rail. The Northmen has perished and the Lost Souls live on. They're actually quite powerful. All right, with that, I, wow. See you guys in the next episode. Thank you.